Okay, so let's start today with um, doing one of these equilibrium constant problems. So this one is one of those where you just take the equilibrium constant and change it when you change the um, reaction around. Okay, so the, the question itself asks us, um, the equilibrium constant for the reaction of hydrogen plus iodine uh, goes to two hydrogen iodide is 54.9 at 699.0 Kelvin. What is the equilibrium constant for this new reaction for hydrogen iodide goes to two molecular hydrogen and two molecular iodine at the same conditions? Okay, so um, first thing we have to remember is um, when we change the coefficients, or if we flip the reaction around, that's going to change this equilibrium constant for the reaction here, okay? So hopefully you can see what we've done to this reaction, to make it this reaction, is first off we've um, multiplied everything by 2. So each one of these coefficients has been multiplied by 2. Hopefully you can see that. See, we have 1 hydrogen here, two hydrogens here. Does everybody see that? You ever see that? Okay, and then one iodine, two iodines, two hydrogen iodide, four hydrogen iodide. Okay, so this thing has been multiplied by two, and then what has happened is we flipped it over like that. Okay? So um, let's go ahead and um, attempt to uh, figure out what the equilibrium constant would be um, one step at a time. I think that's the easiest way to do these things, okay? So the first step is going to be, well, we're going to have to figure out what the equilibrium constant for the reaction just multiplying everything by 2 is, okay? So we're going to keep it um, the same way. We're not going to flip it yet, but we're going to multiply everything by 2. So let's figure out what the equilibrium constant for this reaction is. 2 molecular hydrogen plus two molecular iodine goes to four hydrogen iodide, like that. So hopefully you can see now this is this equation just flipped around, right? Okay. So we're gonna call that KEQ prime. So as to not confuse it with this KEQ here. Okay. So when we do that, when we multiply everything by 2, what we're going to do to the um, KEQ is um, square it. Okay? So we're going to, to uh, raise it to the coefficient that we've multiplied it by. So in other words, KEQ prime is going to be KEQ, and in this case, since we multiplied everything by 2, we're going to square it. Like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So that's just the process. So in this case, it's going to be 54.9 squared, like that. Okay. And you can solve for that if you want to, but I feel that it's easier to just take everything down to the final one and then punch it all into your calculator. That way, you don't have all these decimal points to remember and stuff. Like that. Okay. So now. Um, so I guess, is everybody okay with doing that first step? Yeah. Okay. So if we're going to multiply this by 3, then we would raise that to 3. Okay. So let's do this next step now. So when we flip the reaction equation around, what do we do? In the case of KEQ, we do the inverse of that K, the KEQ that was previous. Okay. So. We're looking at this reaction now, right? Because all we've done from this reaction to this reaction is flip it over, okay? So we want the KEQ from this reaction to be flipped or to be inverted, okay? So the inverse of that, so in other words, KEQ double prime is going to be 1 over KEQ prime, like that. Is everybody okay with that? So what is KEQ prime? Well, it's 54.9 squared, right? So let's write that in. So let's just solve for KEQ double prime now. So we've got 1 over 54.9 squared.
squared, like that. And that's going to give you the answer without too much trouble. So I, again, would recommend that you do, do it like this. You can solve for this one here if you want to, and then just do one divided by that and give you the same answer. Okay? But it's harder to write all this stuff down. Okay, so 54.9, square that. Uh, divide that. And when I do that, I get to what, three sig figs? 3.32 times 10 to the negative 4. And of course, KEQ doesn't have any um, units, so that's the new equilibrium constant. Okay, are there any questions about that one? Okay, wonderful.